Hey everybody, what's up? Sion Pro Pro here and welcome back to the RPG Maker VX Ace Horror Series. Now, today we're going to be making the outside and we're going to get started on the minimap system. By the way, I found this really cool start menu for uh, Windows 8. It's kind of cool. Anyways, <laughs> getting uh, without getting off track, um, let me move my mic. Here we go. And let's get started. Name this outside. There's not going to be too many maps in this whole game because it's going to be... Well, there, there are going to be different maps like... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Just ignore me. Um, anyways. So. No. Exterior. What am I doing? Exterior. Outside. And I heard a dog scattering outside. It's cool. Amazing. Anyways, let's do this. Enough being distracted. Now, if you, if you notice, like, we have a door going outside on this way. This is different. I am not used to this. I don't know what I was thinking. But hey, we can make it happen. So here's the outside. And what kind of roofing would... I think this would be best for the roofing. So I'm going to have... Wait, um, living room. It was... Wait, right here. Okay. Huh. It's probably not going to look right. Actually, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Um... I am, however, going to change the ceiling. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad right there. It doesn't look too bad at all. In fact, we can have it something like that. That actually looks tacky. Hmm. Maybe. Hold on. Oh, you know what? No. Man, fine, we'll just leave it like this. And I'm going to do a grass. Yes, a grass, because it makes sense. Anyways, on layer B, I'm going to use trees right here. And we're going to kind of surround this area with these types of trees. I'm going to set it like that right there. I'm going to do this to kind of finish the trees. But Okapi disagrees. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second. You all come back now, you hear? What? Okay, notice how it's slightly off here, which that's okay. I don't know really I don't really know how to explain uh, how I'm like what I'm doing exactly. Um but Yeah, it's wrong tile. It's this tile right here. Yeah, there we go. I'm just kind of making trees. And I kind of screwed up. I kind of screwed up there. But that's okay. Problem solved and corrected. And this right here actually needs to be right here. Awesome. Okay, it's actually not as confusing as I thought it would be. Kind of puzzling. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Cool. What? What? No, man. Um, also to my friend, new guy, new guy games, Okapi. That is such an inside joke. Yeah, right there. There we go. That's cool. I like that. What? Okay. I like, I like, I like it. Hmm. So yeah, this is going to be kind of the outside, and we're going to kind of decorate. You kind of don't say. No. What? I thought it was on A. Okay, so I'm going to kind of draw grass, and the grass is going to be grassy. I'm also going to kind of draw grass right there, and then replace the treetops again. Well, tree bottoms. Apple bottom G. No, not going to go there. Boots with a nur. Boots with a nur. Chicken noodle soup with a nur on the side. What am I saying? Anywho, we are going to layer B again, and we're going to make these little other trees. It's really too bad you can't combine them, because on RPG Maker XP, you have so much more uh, tile capabilities, but... What? Who has this many trees? Seriously.
I don't think anybody in the, in the universe has this many trees, man. But you know what? Let's go with it. Actually, I'm going to make an entrance through the forest. Because potatoes. Yeah, I'm going to make a forest later. Not right now, though. Definitely going to be later. Okay, so now that we've pretty much made this, let's open up the GIMP. Because GIMP is pimp. Okay. Yeah, you've probably seen some of my emulators there. GIMP, are you going to open, man? There you go. <gasps> Ouch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make a small image. Maybe... 196 by 145. Yeah, it's perfect. Going to paint it black. And I'm going to do print screen. Uh, I'm going to create from clipboard. And I'm going to crop it down to this. The minimap system is going to be pretty darn awesome. And it's only going to be using two images, uh, well, depending on what area you're on. Like, it's one's going to be for the area that you're in, and uh, one's going to be a little blinking cursor to, like, be, hey, we ham. What? So I'm going to make this maybe size 32 by 32. I'm going to put it, like, kind of right towards the middle-ish. It doesn't have to be exact. Son of a fart chunk. Hold on. I'm going to make this, like, kind of transparent. Then go up. And... What? Hold on. Let me copy that. Oh, man. <sighs> Didn't... Actually, you know what? Let's make it 48 by 48. Or not 47, man. 48 by... Oh, my gosh. 48. There. Cool. Now I'm going to copy that by pressing Control-C. And just erase it. And press Control-V. It'll be right in the middle. I'm just going to kind of move it up. And another really cool thing I've learned, which I'm going to share with you guys during this tutorial, is if you remove the um, the screen fading effect, it gets so much more cool. Like, it just makes it look more um, instant, and you have a good chance for more jump scares, if anything I just said makes sense. You probably don't want these events showing up there, but eh, it should be all right. If you want to remove them, you can copy the map and paste it and then delete the events and then erase the map. And depending on how it looks, we might actually do that. 48. 48. I'm going to copy you, delete you. Of course, I'm going to make this one on a new layer. That's right in the middle. That don't look too bad. I like it like that. Actually, you know what? I'm I like it like that too. Huh? Because it kind of makes it look more. Huh? You know what? I'm gonna have it like that. That way, you kind of don't see the roof, and it just shows you you're outside. You know what? No, it's fine. Let's just do this, like like we originally planned. Yeah, right there, there. This minimap system is going to be kind of cool. So here's the first hallway. I shall print screen this pimp up later. Okay, you know, I need to be more entertaining for you guys. Who likes Jello? Just like Jello pudding. What? Okay, this is that was a Bill Cosby reference, but that was incredibly random. Watch everybody like unsubscribe for me now because that. Then again, who doesn't like Bill Cosby? You gotta be nuts, nuts not to like Bill Cosby. Forty-eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wish you could press tab. 48. It's gonna kind of have that one like right next to this one. Looking kind of cool. See how they actually link up too. Like they're actually. It looks like. Um, how it should. If that makes sense. What? Here's the player's room. The only reason I'm keeping all this stuff on screen. Is because I don't wait what no 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 is because I don't um, want you guys to miss out on anything 
<clears throat> like if you're trying to copy the exact same things that I do, that's why I have it on screen. <clears throat> Freaking mustache hair, man. I tell you. It's everywhere. What? Doesn't even make sense. 48. No, 48. 48. Enter, enter. Oh my gosh, that's so much faster. No! We don't have room. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to resize this. 32, 32. It does have to be 32 by 32. Son of a turkey. What? Okay, alpha to selection. So you can select the whole thing if it's the size of the layer. You can just resize it that way. Dag nab it though. <laughs> I got a freaking man. There we go. Okay, I, I guess I wasn't so bad. Hmm. Alrighty. Wasn't so bad. I'm going to invert that so I can delete all those little. The smudgy right here. What? I said invert, man. I inverted it. Oh, come on, dude. Vert. There we go. Now, I got to realign this. So I'm going to kind of merge everything here down. Except for this one. So I'm going to press Control X and then... Wait, what? On Alpha 2 Selection, Control C... And I'm going to delete all that. Right click this and go to layer to image size. There we go. So now it's all directly in the middle. I'm going to move that one over by 16 on. Yeah, by 16. And then should be good now. Don't worry, it is a mini map. It's going to appear up here. And it's not going to look all messed up. In fact, we can actually sharpen this if you want to sharpen it. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, enhance, sharpen. I'm not going to worry about it. But if you do sharpen it, though, it, here, let me show you. It looks a little better. I might... Did Gimp just freeze? Oh. I might sharpen it later, like uh, before I finish. But anyways, hallway 2, print screen. Sorry about that long delay, guys. I just wish it was instantly right in the center. That irritates my boobs. What? Sorry, female viewers. That was not intended to be offensive to or anybody, but, you know. I don't know what sets y'all off, so I thought we... 32 by 32. Move this over here. That one looks so much better. You know, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to redo that up to this point. Hey, guess what, folks? I got a tip. I already got it uh, the way I need it, so never mind. I already got it. Um, see, I can just press Control-Z and con uh, Control-Y, and you can shift through the ones we've already made. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to make a new layer. 32, 32, and it's just going, you know what, we can actually do this, interpolation, none, then you resize it, and then it should look a lot better, cool, so I'm going to do the same thing we did last time, there we go, yeah, that looks a lot better, holy crap, and it's going to look a lot better too, I'm going to make the outside here, and then the hallway, so the outside, you get pasted to a new layer, good sir. No, I, I did that wrong. New layer first, then paste it. 32 by 32, 2, 32, 30, 30, 32. Copy that, paste it. Move you up 32 pixels, man. There you go. Oh, that looks so much better. Like, here's actual size. Here's what you're going to be seeing, like, if you play the game. So it's kind of cool. It matches. Me gusta. 
There it is, Nagos. Why do I keep doing that? What? Okay, no, no. There we go. Copy that. No. What? Apparently, I had it somewhat wrong. Oh, well. Anyways. Paste. Oh, come on. I copied the wrong thing. There we go. Paste. Why is it still copying the whole thing, man? There we go. That was interesting. 32, but 32. Sorry if this is boring, guys. By the way, yeah, 6 o'clock is going to be my, uh, well, 6 o'clock uh, Eastern. Is going to be my new upload time. Because, like, I'm going to be studying GED. Probably trying to get my license and going back to college. Or going to college. Never been to college. But going to college and all kinds of stuff, hopefully. But it's really intense. Like, it's really, 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 really complicated. Because, well, I never did like studying. And now that I actually have to start studying stuff. Like, I never could study right. Like, I always start daydreaming. Why do I smell gas? Okay, that's really weird. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. My uncle's outside revving the truck up, and it's like shooting pollution everywhere. Ugh. Did I get this room already? No, I didn't. My gosh, man. 32... I'm not going to understand you being bored, but holy crap, dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot to make a new layer. But it's fine. I already got it copied. Um, here, you know what? Why don't we remove the, uh, the big... Or no, it's a doorway, so that makes even more sense. No? Hold on. Let's kind of remove that, shall we? Copy this, paste it, and move it. What? Oh. That's why. There we go. Wait. Now we gotta go to this one. Sorry guys about this confusion. I'm just kind of making it look a little more um, like that. Like how they are, like they're connecting. See, this is what you're gonna be seeing actual size but for somebody playing in full screen that pollution stinks <laughs> so we've got hallway two so how y'all been doing you know it's really amazing like when you guys comment honestly like you guys mean everything to me all the subscribers and stuff you guys are awesome like i'm not even joking when i say that like you guys are the ones that inspired me to even do this horror series. And if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have like been like, oh, you know what, YouTube's not working, I need to get a job, all this and that. But I'm serious, like when I say you guys are awesome, I, I mean that too, I really do. Thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you. Now, see what we do, have like a, kind of like a problem here where it's all black on the, uh, speaking of the, Speaking of that, we has an issue. Or no, we don't. No, we don't. This actually is not going to be that bad. So what we're going to do is, when we go to room one and room two, we're going to kind of reconnect them in a way, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean. But they're not going to be, like, spaced out by 32, like the originals are. What I mean by that is, let me go here while I keep pressing Alt-Tab-4. Oh, hi. No. This is not Chrono Trigger. Even though Chrono Trigger is an amazing game. 32. 32. Like we normally do. No pun intended. No rhyme pun thing intended. Whatever. What? Okay, I'm going to actually connect them like so. See? Gotta go. You know what, in that case, what I might actually do, this is that one. The living room needs to be above that layer. So we have the, this thing right here on the bottom layer. I'm actually, I actually am going to make it look like they connect like that. 
because why not? No, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, we got one more room to do. It's the room two. Then uh, we're gonna set up the functions of this mini map in this episode as well, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just skip ahead if you haven't already. And we are. But then again, if you skipped ahead, you wouldn't have heard my lovely message. That wasn't probably that lovely. Anyways, 32, 32, not 43, 32. 32 potatoes? Oh, what? So yeah, now the rooms are all connected like that. And it's cool. Now how we're going to do the minimap system is all going to be through events. But before we do, oops. I want to merge these layers. What? No, not delete. Merge and merge. So now we have all the layers. What I want to do is I want to select all the black portions and delete them. Like so. See? Now we got our own little minimap thing. So now what we're going to do is going to ex we are going to export it. Going to potato. You can name it whatever you want. For the sake of randomness, I am naming it potato. Horror game, graphics, pictures, potato.png. Now I'm um, make a new layer. And I'm going to have a little... It's just going to be a... Uh, actually, no, don't even make a new layer. Just make a new image. Make it about 16 by 16. See, I have like a tiny dot. Right click the background layer, add alpha channel and delete so you have transparency. And I'm going to just kind of drag from the bottom right to the top left. And I'm going to do a, a black little circle. I'm going to shrink by one. And then I'm going to do red. Don't worry, it's not going to be this bright on the screen. <laughs> Name this marker. What? Marker.png. Now let's get on with the functions. So right now we are in. Let's start. Okay, we start from the players room. Now I'm gonna make a little event down at the bottom right or bottom left actually. Um, parallel process. And we're gonna do show picture. Make this picture 99. And it's going to be a potato. <laughs> now just for the sake of testing, let's see how that looks. 99, so it's above everything, by the way. Oh, it's at the top left. Um, we want it at the top right. And we don't want it to show right now. Actually, it doesn't look too bad at the top left. Yeah, I like, I like, I kind of like it at the top left. Actually, you know what? We're going to remove this background layer, so it's going to be completely transparent. And I'm going to crop the image to around this size. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's around that size. Um... I kind of like it like that, so I'm going to export that. And yeah. and actually make it 98 instead of 99. And now show another picture. The marker. This time it's going to be showed at upper left, and we're going to have to find the X and Y. So to do that, I'm going to cut this event, and I'm going to the hallway because that's where we saved it. And it will just make things a lot easier and faster to test. So if you see, right now it's at zero, and the marker is obviously too huge. But our main map looks cool, and as you can see it stays there in the menu, but the menu is going to change. I might write a little custom anything. So we want the um, thing to be at, remember this is at zero, zero right now on the mini map. So you can use GIMP to actually find the location you need. We want it to appear right here. So if you look down here, you can see your X and Y. So we want them uh, 66 by 66, and I not I did not want to do one. Make this 99. Um, so what we actually want to do is 66 minus 8. So do what? 58. Yeah, 58, and the Y position is 58. That's for this room, and for the room previous, you would do minus 32. Um, and you might need to tweak it on the rooms like room one or room two, but uh, we'll get there. Make the opacity, eh, let's do, let's do about, uh, let's start it off with 30. And now we're going to do move picture, 99. Opacity, 150. 
Don't wait for completion. Wait, yeah, actually do. Do wait for completion. Then we're gonna do move picture back to 30. 99, make sure it's 99. Oh, and make sure it's at the same uh, X and Y. 58 by 58 in this case. It takes a little bit of uh, time to set this kind of thing up, but it's kind of cool. You know, you could probably also do this through common events and um, variables. Yeah. See? Now uh, you see the red dot here. Shows you where what room we're in. But if you go in here, it's still the same dot. Again, to change that. But since we have, uh, we don't want it. Okay, just go to, never mind. I got to slow down. Go to the player's room and set it at a corner. This time you're gonna do check switch. First note red is on. No, we're gonna do activate is on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's make all of them where they're act. They have to be activated. So copy this and replace this one with the one we just kind of copied. And making sure it's at the bottom left corner so you know which is what and what is which and who is what and what is who. What? <laughs> okay, so. I should check my notes and now we're gonna turn like right after he says we should check our notes we should turn the switch on activate activate like a, like a boss. anyways so now we need to do 58 minus 32 um so what's 8 minus 2 which is 6 what's the minus 3 what is it what is it no <laughs> wait 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 why does that feel wrong no, I guess it's not wrong. Let's let's go with it. Fine. It is wrong, but who cares? No, it ain't. That ain't wrong, is it? I don't know anymore. Anyways, make sure the Y position is the same because we don't need to subtract the height. So we just need that. So 26. No, 27. And 26. So let's go through the intro and test this out. <laughs> Sorry, and as you can tell, it's not here yet. I got it. My plans for tomorrow are finished. Finish. 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 Power raid. Check my notes. And there's a mini map. As you see, the dot is glowing. Check my notes first. So I obtained a note. Oh, we need to make it under that one. Holy crap, we got to modify something, but that's just fine. And yay, see the red dot changes. Um, let's modify the teleport event. Let's not even have a move or a, a sound effect and fade none. Oh, no, I'll test that in a second. Let's modify our common event here, the one that shows the note. Make this one 100, so it's above everything. The note image is, you know, 100. 100. 100. Cool. So now the note's going to be above everything. So I'm going to kind of change the teleport events. None. None. Already changed that one. None. Pretty much just makes it almost like an instant teleport thing. None. None. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, by the way, to set everything up the, the best ways. But you know what? It's very worth it. None. And we don't even have a thing here yet. Transfer. This one is going to kind of fade. No, it ain't. No, let's not even have it fade. Retain. Uh, living room. Yeah, but I meant none. Crap, I don't know what I was doing there. Dizzy again. I've been getting dizzy today. It's kind of crazy. So don't check the... Or delete the sound and make sure it says none. So let's test that really quick. It's gonna use continue. See, it makes it more. Oh, forgot to change that one. And that one. 
yeah, it makes things interesting. What? Why? What's going on? Oh, uh... What? It should be... What? Oh, transfers them to the living room. Oh, that's what I messed up on. How did I end up doing that? I'm an idiot. Anyways, let's finish doing this. None. And then I'll go ahead and finish out the hallway, or the, um... The mini-maps. So, let me go to the hallway. Copy. Go to the living room. Paste. And what we actually want to do is add 32 to this one. And then just add 30. That'd be 90. Oops. Oops. Put it in the bottom left corner. And we're going to hallway 2. Bottom left corner again. This one will actually be the same X, but uh, it'll be a different. It'll be 90 by 90, because it'll be 32 more. Three. Okay, now this one is going to be slightly different, because it's going to be like... So this one's going to be 81 by 93. Or no, minus 16. Or 8. Yeah, it's 8. So... Copy that one. And room one will actually be. Let's do a plus 16 instead. So it'd be 106 by 90. Oops. 106 by 90. What? Oh, 99. Now we go to room two, and this one will be not there. Now all we gotta do is, since I copied the one from there, this one should be, okay, what's 90 minus 16? Hold on, you know what, this would make things easier. I'm too lazy. <laughs> okay, 74. Oops, not 740. Darn sure not 740. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Alrighty then. Outside, of course, forgot about this one. The outside one, actually, we're going to copy the one from the living room because it makes the things easier. The outside one will be. Well, minus 32 for this, so. 26. Alright, so we're, now that we're done, let's test out what we made so far, and then I'm going to end this episode. I got it. My plans for tomorrow are finished. Better go to sleep now. It's really late. Um, if you're trying to make your mini map at the top right corner, you're gonna have to do a little bit more math. Still not too hard though. Let's check my notes. Go. Cool. It makes me lactate. What? hallway which needs to be moved up a little bit actually you know what that's not bad let's just go with that let's go test outside cool um <laughs> however <laughs> forgot to change the picture erase picture what picture number was it oh, I gotta go to the living room it's right here right okay it's picture two we need to erase picture two. Parallel process. Erase picture two. Erase all your pictures. Here we go. Erase picture number two. All right, guys. So thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all later.